We're trying to reduce the threat of large-scale wildfires by reducing the number of trees uh, across the national forests in the western U.S. So when there's too much fuel uh, or vegetation, then that creates larger, more intense wildfires. The other thing that's happening is we're having more intense drought and in a lot of cases less precipitation which stresses the trees and creates a situation where they're weakened. I think this work is incredibly urgent. I think the forests as we know them in California and across the West, they're dying. They're being destroyed through fire. They're dying from drought, disease, and insects. And like I said, they're, they're dying at a pace that we're having trouble keeping up with. We're asking the Forest Service to uh, make their treatments lighter, to uh, focus on smaller trees and shrubs, leave the larger trees, and ensure that the scenery that, uh, and recreation opportunities that people enjoy along the North Yuba River are protected. My wife and I camp uh, in the Yuba River drainage. We go hiking there. I was just there a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, this is an important area to us and we don't want to see it we don't want to see it burn up and we don't want to see it logged over. I once heard someone describe forest thinning and logging operations um, as open heart surgery. You know, afterwards, it's, it's not a pretty sight. It, it can look a little bit rough, but uh, forests recover and they're, they're very resilient. People will have to get used to seeing a less dense forest because that's a healthy forest.